Hello everyone. I hope you are having a good beginning to the week. Today, I wanna to talk about one way we can avoid a communication breakdown in any relationship. And the point of it is to get clarity on things that we might not understand, right? Things that hit us funny, and a lot of times we might walk away from an exchange with somebody and we feel funny, and we kind of, we want to know if the way we feel is right or if they meant it in another way, right? We've all had this. So let's use, uh, let's use husband-wife um, scenario here. And we've got um, the wife who, um, and her and her husband have an exchange in the morning. Now, let me just do the backstory. The backstory is there's an unresolved thing between them, right? And she's feeling extra annoyed because she feels like she's been sacrificing herself for, for everyone in the household, right? And everyone uh, relies on her for everything. Yeah. So now we can move forward to this exchange in the morning between her and her husband. And he says something very innocently, but guess what? She doesn't take it that way because of the way she's feeling. This could easily happen. Uh, role reversal with husband and wife, by the way. But so much of how we take that moment is based on how we are feeling in that moment and what has been happening before this moment comes into play, right? And, you know, let's just say that he said something or looked at her funny and she assumed, you know, she got huffy and assumed that it was one more thing that she's using as evidence, right, to fuel this annoyance that she has, right? And she doesn't want to feel this way, but doesn't really know how to stop the pattern. But here's, here's what I can tell you. What I can tell you is in order to be able to shift this kind of confusion, we've got to be vulnerable. We've got to take a chance. We've got to speak, right? Open our mouths, use our words and say, hey, look, honey, here's the deal. And this is hard to do, right? But once you start doing it, it gets really easy and it's great for the relationship, right? But I remember when I first realized I had to start doing this a long time ago, it was so hard. It's hard to be vulnerable. It's hard to admit that you're not feeling so happy. Um, there's just a lot of things that go on. But if you do stop in the moment and you do say, hey, honey, here's the deal. You might not be doing anything wrong. I'm feeling bad. I'm annoyed because of ABC. And I want to know how you meant that because my feelings are hurt. Um, and I, you may not have meant to hurt them, but that's how I took it. So can you help me understand how, what you meant by that, by the look, by what you said, whatever it is. So, so that's it. Try to get clarity. Try to use your voice and be brave enough to be vulnerable and to find out because so many times the things that we're angry about are based on untruths <laughs> and we make them into these huge things. Okay. So this kind of falls in line with the using the anger and the disappointment to fuel things. Right. And it's, it's so negative and lower vibe and it's not good and healthy for any of us. So this might be one way that we can help stop that pattern of using things for what we think might be our game to make us feel important or to um, validate something that we're, we are feeling. Okay. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.